There's a long-standing debate about whether antioxidant supplementation can make a difference in athletic performance. What we're about to share with you may come as a big shocker. Hi everyone, and welcome to the C60 Show. If you've been looking for a way to get an edge on the competition in sports, or you are ready to take your fitness to the next level, you're gonna love what we have to share with you in this video. That's right. We're gonna tell you how to overcome one of the biggest challenges facing athletes when it comes to stamina, performance, and recovery. Hi, I'm Ken. Chief Science Officer and Founder of C60 Purple Power. And I'm Sierra, Certified Functional Nutrition Counselor. Now you don't have to be an elite athlete to benefit from what we're about to share with you. Hey, if you're able to get up out of your chair and walk up the stairs, that's being athletic. This video is for you too. That's right. You know, sometimes we take for granted all the amazing things our body does on a daily basis. Oftentimes it's not until we break an arm or suffer from a debilitating injury that we actually realize it. I think old age has its own way of making that apparent too. <laughs> Isn't that the truth? Sometimes the biggest challenge of any exercise regimen is just having the motivation, time, and energy to stick with it. But we're gonna address that too. Let's dive in, shall we? Yes, but first, all opinions expressed on this video are for informational purposes only and are not a substitute for professional medical advice. These statements have not been evaluated by the Food and Drug Administration. C60 Purple Power products are not intended to diagnose, treat, cure, mitigate, or prevent any disease. Individual, Individual results, results may, may vary. vary. Okay, let's answer the question, can antioxidant supplementation actually make a difference in athletic performance? Well, one of the biggest challenges athletes have is oxidative stress. And that is because oxidative radicals are a natural byproduct of energy production in the cells. So you would think that offsetting some of this oxidative stress by supplementing with antioxidants like vitamin C, E, or D would be beneficial to athletic performance. However, there's a little problem. While some oxidative radicals are extremely damaging to the body, others are actually necessary and are an important part of muscle function. So you don't want to interfere with those. And unfortunately, high levels of antioxidants like vitamin C, E, and D can interfere with these signaling pathways. So the answer is no then. Antioxidants don't make a difference? There is one antioxidant that can make a difference in athletic performance, and that is carbon-60. Ooh, that sounds great. Well, tell us first, what is carbon-60? And then how can it make a difference in athletic performance? Well, C60 is short for carbon-60, scientifically known as the Buckminster Fullerene. It's a molecule shaped like a tiny soccer ball and is characterized by those who studied it as a free radical sponge. C60 is one of the most powerful antioxidants ever discovered. What makes C60 different than other antioxidants like vitamin C, E, and D is that C60 is actively uptaken into the mitochondria where it neutralizes superoxide, the most damaging oxidative radical in the body, and you make a lot of that when you exercise, because it's taken inside the mitochondria, it can neutralize superoxides before they get outside the mitochondria and start causing damage, which is the real key. So because C60 can go in and out of the mitochondria, that helps with the energy production, which can help with your stamina, right? That's right. And uh, a lot of those other antioxidants you take, like vitamin C and D and E, can't really neutralize superoxide or other things that superoxide produces. Wow, so you can't even supplement for, for these. I know that there's certain antioxidants that your body has to make. You can't get them from your food. Uh, but as you age, your antioxidant production declines, and those are the antioxidants your body uses to fight the oxidative stress produced when you're trying to exercise or in energy production, right? Yes, and so like for instance, you can't supplement for superoxide dismutase or catalase, whereas C60 is a uh, SOD mimic and it can actually do the job of both SOD and catalase in one shot. And it also does the job of glutathione and neutralizing the hydroxyl radical. So this is kind of revolutionary. And honestly, this whole debate about whether on antioxidants can actually help, they're gonna have to revise this research <laughs> because actually there is one antioxidant that can help and has no level of toxicity. So they're actually saying in this study here, um, basically taking a look at antioxidants in athletes' basic nutrition and seeing can it, you know, it makes perfect sense. Like hypothetically, it should work that if you're taking antioxidant, it should offset some of that oxidative stress. But like you say, those those uh, antioxidants that can be supplemented for, 
don't actually neutralize those particular uh, oxidative radicals in the first place. And then number two, the other issue is that it can interfere with the signaling processes. You would have to take a ton of vitamin C, for instance, to have the antioxidant power that C60 has. C60 is several hundred times more powerful than traditional antioxidants like mm. vitamin C and D and E and all of that. So you only need a tiny amount and it resets itself. It goes in and out of this mitochondria and resets itself. So you don't have to take a lot. Yeah, another uh, thing that they this talks about is taking supplemental antioxidants is that these will often interfere with the signaling molecules in the body. And some of those, for instance, are the nitrogen oxides that uh, vitamin C or D or E or excessive amounts can deal, can interfere with. And, and nitrogen oxide, it dilates or shrinks your capillaries, which is really important, obviously, in exercise. Also, there's hydrogen peroxide that can get neutralized, and that's also an important signaling molecule. And then there's other signaling molecules that are oxidative radicals the body used based around sulfur, iron, and zinc. And if you interfere with those, you know, if the body can't, the cells can't communicate within each, in themselves and between each other, then taking these excessive antioxidants is, uh, is counterproductive. In fact, it can be detrimental to athletic performance, which is what they're finding. Um, but C60 is the exception. How can it make a difference in athletic performance? C60 supports athletic performance by optimizing the production of ATP, which is made in the mitochondria because C60 is actively uptaken in the mitochondria. Increasing the production of ATP in your cells, that's the energy body uses to do everything from walking to talking to thinking and fighting illness. And C60 also, because it uh, gets rid of these oxidative radicals, it reduces the buildup of lactic acid. That's the cause of muscle fatigue after physical exertion. And so you can just run a little bit longer, lift a little bit more before you get tired. And another thing C60 does is it significantly reduces recovery times after physical exertions. They call that DOMS, delayed onset muscle soreness. And you know that, like about two days after you've done a really big workout, you're feeling the pain. Well, C60 can help uh, reduce that because what's that pain's being caused by is when all those superoxides and other oxidative radicals came out of the mitochondria, they started getting into the cell and causing damage. They did things like cross-linking proteins so they don't work and then the body's got to replace those. And this includes muscle tissues, right? Yes, especially muscle tissues. And it also punches holes. Those oxidative radicals will punch holes in the cellular membranes which things leak out that shouldn't or leak in, that's a big problem. And they can also damage RNA and DNA, the messaging system in, in your cells, and that's a bad thing too. And so what happens is athletes, when they do a really strenuous workout, they really need to rest for a while to allow their body to repair. But what C60 can do is shorten the amount of time that you have to rest and recover before you can exercise again. So people will be able to really ramp up the frequency of their exercise and the intensity. So in summary, C60 increases energy production in your cells, which can help give you the burst of energy you need to push yourself physically. C60 also increases muscle endurance and shortens recovery times by reducing the damage and inflammation caused by oxidative radicals, the primary cause of muscle soreness. All right, well now that we know it works, what is the best way to take it? What do you recommend for people uh, who haven't tried it yet and want to try it for athletic performance? Well, animal studies show that C60 has to be taken before exposure to radiation or other toxins or oxidative radicals. And so what do we know from that? So you gotta to need to take it before exercise it because it takes C60 a little while to get in your system, uh, you know, 20 to minutes to an hour, depending on what sort of organ system during it is. But if you take it on a regular basis and you maintain that daily dose, then you'll have a good level already in your system. And yes, it'll also benefit you to take it during exercise. You know, if you're running a marathon or something like that, when you do, some people will take sugar tablets and other things to, you know, increase their energy. Well, this is another thing you can do as well. And what sort of oil do you want to take during exercise? And probably the very best is MCT coconut oil. And MCT stands for medium chain triglycerides. And they can be taken and turned by your liver into ketones, which then can be used by your cells as, a, as an instant energy source. It's kind of like flex fuel for your cells. 
And we've had lots of athletes that do that. They actually put a little bit of C60 and MC2 oil in their water as they're going around the track. Mm. And so when they drink the water, they also take the MCT coconut oil, which gives them that super burst of energy. And of course, you've got the C60 riding on top of that to reduce the oxidative radicals. We've actually had one person, we won't mention, who uh, went from mid-pack in their class to champion, national champion, using C60 purple power products. Yeah, there's some champion ponies out there too that might have benefited from it. Yes, but that's not in this country and we won't mention <laughs> just exactly where it is. Some and guess what? Country. This won't show up on tests. So, you know, it's not a performance enhancing drug that's gonna get you in trouble. Yes, yeah, so and we've actually contacted all those different uh, testing organizations and they just never got back to us. So there's been no decision about uh, C60. Well, C60 is just an antioxidant. I mean, I don't think they can outlaw carbon. <laughs> yeah, it's just 100% carbon. <laughs> it's 60 carbon atoms shaped like a soccer ball. It just does a really good job at getting rid of oxidative radicals. So, I mean, how can they like outlaw that? I don't think okay. so. Now, you probably don't want to lug this around with you on a run <laughs> or even to the gym. So we have these awesome packets you can get. There's 30 packets to a box and each packet contains one teaspoon, which is a solid dose of C60, but you're also getting that awesome MCT coconut oil, which is a flex fuel. So try it out on your next run or exercise program. Now, if you've tried C60 when you're exercising or competing in sports, we would love to hear what you've experienced. Please let us know in the comments. We hope you found this video helpful. If so, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. And if you'd like to try C60 for yourself, visit shopc60.com and remember to use the coupon code THEC60SHOW for 10% off your entire order. And if you're joining us on YouTube today, please subscribe. We'd love to see you again and click the little bell icon so you get a notification every time we upload something new. See you next time.